Hey guys, my name's JR, and today we're going to make this look like this. Alright, so this look was inspired by the movie Taken. As you can see in this screen grab that I found online, there's a lot of orange and there's a lot of blue greenish colors in here and some off whites. So that's what I was initially going for. So what we had is we had an A7S. We went out and we and we shot um, an S log three. And then this is the footage that we got back from that. And then we made it look like that epic. All right, so what we're gonna do to show you guys how to do this is I'm going to go to a new version. We're gonna add another node. And then once you have your other node or to get your other node, you're gonna come up here and add serial node, right? Alt S. I have no idea what it is on a Mac because I don't use Mac. So you can come up to here and find it. And then next we're gonna add a layer node, right? So now we have three nodes here and this little combiner thingy, right? We're gonna come into here, composite mode, we're gonna go to overlay. So now we, oh man, look at that. Now they're not, it's not looking like shit anymore. And we're also gonna add another node here and we'll come back to that node these two nodes here we're going to make the majority of our color adjustments to uh, to get the the desired look the first one here we're going to add in the all the background um, colors that that we want right so we want the highlights to be a little yellow we're going to take our mid tones and bring them down in the green and then we're gonna get a little bit of blue um, out of our shadows here, right? Something like that, right? That's that's looking kind of there. Uh, just play around with these a little bit more. Something like that, possibly. And then once we once we you know come up and you figure out exactly what you want, you can come down here, and then you're gonna you're gonna um, make this shot make the exposure of this shot how you want it to look don't be so worried about his skin and his face he looks really sick but yeah don't don't be so concerned about that we'll fix that we'll fix that later um, but right now we're just gonna come into here and we're gonna we're gonna make everything else look pretty epic except for his skin and all of that we don't have to be so worried about that right now all right so let's say that this is the shot that looks, you know, pretty cool. Uh, we can come in here and and, uh, and edit this more as as we as we feel fit. But for now, let's say that you know that's that's what we're going for. That's what we like. Okay, awesome. So now we'll come over here, and we're going to get rid of this this highlight here. All right. So we're gonna come in here, grab a gradient power window plop that over there I'm gonna come in here into my log settings and drop that bad boy down right and plop that boom look at that out of there no more right it's looking good all right we're gonna add another layer node but this time we're gonna take this connection and we're gonna delete that connection and we're gonna bring this connection up to here now with this node we're going to try to qualify the skin as much as we can now i am god awful at this there's probably a ton of people that are better at it but i'm bad at it and i dicked around with this a bunch before uh, we worked on this or before this tutorial and i just could not get his beard out with like everything else you know coming out so all i do is i get his beard out as much as possible right Try to get his beard out as much as possible and then whoop, try to get that beard out all right so then when we feel like we got the majority of that beard out of there what we're gonna do is you see all of this other stuff like if i if i color something all that's gonna get you know colored so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a power window but this power window it's gonna be a custom power window just around to make sure you get the neck and get her all around. So we'll take that off and then we'll come in here and we will 
Make a custom power window. All right, so now that we got all that, all we really need to do is just make sure the majority of that hat is in there, which it pretty much is. So come down here and we can add some, some softening in there so that the, all these edges aren't so rough. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now we can go in here and we can actually color the skin. Oops, we can color the skin the way that we want it to look. So we'll come out here. We'll add a little bit of that. And the beard, we'll back the beard so we can get a good beard color out of there. I think that's looking good. One of the things that we have to get rid of, we need to add that in there. And that just fucked up our whole thingy thing. All right. Well, oh. soften this shit up a bit. Okay. Let's see how this looks for now. All right. This could probably use a little more contrast. Something like that. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking that so far. A little more out of his beard. Something like that. I'm liking that, right? That's looking pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Drop the saturation down just a tad. And we'll add one more at the end. And that shot is looking pretty good. I don't know what you would add here. Really want to add, you can either add a sweet, a sweet vignette that some people do. We'll flip this bitch and add a, add a, add a coolio vignette like that, right? You could do that. Or if you want to be really cool, you can come up here and go into here and do like a boom. Look at that. Or you could do that. How freaking epic. Oh shit. You know what? I forgot something. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. All right, I think that was where it was. <laughs> I forgot to track this. That was something you did not see. All right, track forward. Uh, quick tip, if you want faster tracks, all you have to do is hit Alt-D and it turns off all of your grade. So then tracking will be a lot quicker. It's a pro tip for you from a pro that forgets to, uh, to track shit. And it looks like this fell off a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll come back down here. Is that like off of his face? See it again, yeah, now it's off of his face entirely. The only part that sucks with shots that have this kind of movement or if you're, if you go quick enough, it's not that big of a deal. Or if you're not explaining everything, you can get through everything pretty quickly. And holy crap, with me recording the screen, my computer's chugging along. But you kind of get this idea of how this works. I hope. Alright. So, now let's get out of that. Uh, uh. Actually, you know what? I think that's the light behind him. Yeah, just the light behind him. All right, so that is looking like a pretty sweet shot, if you ask me. You got nice skin tones. You got a nice jacket. This is beat down pretty far. You got nice colors over here. So this is where we start it. And this is with the A7S Mark II in S-Log 3, I believe. And then boom, the end product. I think that that came out pretty sweet. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.